Hey guys, me and Alex are back and as you can see, we have an awesome box of candy and snacks to try. I think this has got to be one of the biggest ones we've ever had. I think it has to be because we've got a box here and just off camera, I don't know if you can see, we've got a bag full of other goodies. No, they can see that, but you just can't see the stuff inside. You just and can't see so the much stuff, stuff inside. And what's quite exciting is this isn't our usual American candy. No. No, this has come all the way from Q8 and we've never tried anything from there or been there. Yeah, so we just don't know what to expect. No. Obviously by now we know what to expect from American and a few other countries, but this, we just don't know well, what's going on. Well, in this box here, we seem to have a few chips crisps and mm. we seem to have some like sweet things, but in this bag, the smells coming from that bag really? are so different to anything Where here. Have a smell of that bag. I think this might be teas or something because mm. it smells so like herbal floral. It does smell herbal. And I reckon it? that's quite traditional to Q8. Okay, Ooh, very good quality paper. Dear Kate and Alex, thank you for giving me the opportunity to show you some of our country's delicious and hand picked food items. No, thank you for giving us the opportunity <laughs> to try no. them. Please find enclosed selected items of candy and crisps, so they say crisps, we used to eat, brackets we still do. So we've literally got a list of what's inside. Note, I did not include chocolates because we have what you have, such as Cadbury's and Galaxy. Oh no way, actually when I went to Dubai they had Galaxy. Mm. You um, see this down here right at the bottom? You must say it somewhere in here, but Nix Nixa, Nixa is Arabic for hand-picked food. Oh really? Mm. I have enclosed new crisps that are produced locally. Last but not least, you will also find traditional sweets and confectionaries best eating with Arabic coffee. Gawa, Gawa, would you say that? Yeah. Which is also included. Just add hot water to the pouch. See instructions on the packaging. Hope this you enjoy this nigsa. Is that oh, what you were saying? Where, yeah. Arabic for hand-picked food. That's very cool. Best regards, Abra. Thank you so much. And what's much. really interesting is, like, they're saying in the letter, this looks like the more modern kind of Arabic yeah. food. And then in that bag seems a bit more, more traditional. traditional. Yeah, definitely. Which is cool. I'm We've excited. We've got so many crisps, which is really exciting because yeah. usually it's more candy and chocolates, isn't it? So and we love crisps. Should we start with two big bags? Yes, please. They're from the same brand. Okay, so this is quite easy for us to read. Um, hectares, hectares, passionately cooked. We've got summer, summer barbecue, barbecue, skin on hand cooked chips. Ooh, skin and, on. Mm, and sweet chili and red pepper. Mm. They sound great. Smell great as well. A bit Amazing. like pickle chips. Yeah. Also, you get hardly any in there, but someone did comment saying it's partly because. Hey, Alex won. They were partly saying, though, due to like the transport, obviously mm. they get crushed. I just think. Mm. Compared to some countries, you can kind of make out what words are. Yeah. But with this, I just. It'd no, be it's amazing when it's a completely different yeah. uh, alphabet. alphabet. Very delicious. Mm -hmm. Try these now. My eggs. Slight spice it. Two. Hmm. <laughs> they are barbecuey. Two one. Hmm. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Which you prefer? I don't know. I think I need another one of those. So much flavouring on each one. I think I prefer these. I think I'm five. Mm. I think they're a ten. I think they both are. These are slightly better, but these are great. I think I prefer them too as well. These have actually got a bit of a kick to them. Mm. Oh, isn't it? Those have got a bit of a kick. No, because I'd had those first without trying them. Yeah. I love the branding. Like the... And once yeah, again, like I paint, was saying... Paintbrush kind of splash. I was saying in our American video 6, is it? Mm. We don't get many white packages. No. I really like that. I would say they're a, they're a 10 as well, mm -hmm. but I think I prefer the chilli and red pepper ones. Mmm. Mm. Ooh, chilli and lime. I like the fact smiles. they're called smiles. Oh, so these are new crisps that are produced locally. Thanks. Let us know if you're a part of the UAE and which area and have you tried any of these delicious things before? Chili I've and only, lime. I've only been to Dubai. Chili and lime is a great flavour combination. Mm. But it's not something we get a lot of here, is no, it? No. Ooh, they're crinkle cut. Once again, packed with flavour. Look at the colour. Great. Look Cheers. Cheers. 
Mm. It's a lime. It's really pungent yeah. in there. Woo! Mm. Spicy. They do have a nice kick. The lime really cuts through it, doesn't it? Julian yeah. and spice and tang. I've mm. had like um, chili and lime crisp before, but mm. the lime's never been that strong. Wow, they're hot. Do you think so? I think they've got a kick, but I wouldn't say they're that hot. I would say Mama Zuma is so much worse mm -hmm. than that. I reckon if they're in a different flavour though, with the crinkle cut, I would like them more than those maybe. No, I prefer the other style, the, the, the crunchy, kind of like kettle, kettle chip chips. style over there. Because these are like a little bit more puffy or something. Because mm. these feel like potato actual slices. I, they've got to come in loads of different mm. flavours, haven't they? They're nice, but just not as nice the as the others. The flavour's good as well. I'm going to give them an eight. I'm going to give them an eight as well. Mm. Carrying on with the crisps. Yeah. Did you want to pick a pack? Uh, nice. We've got a few nice actually. I oh, wonder really? if it's like um, see one. the Ooh, big these, brand. These, these are, are paprika. Nice. I like um, how you've got a smile. These are nice. How do you know you've never tried them? Uh -huh. Maybe we should start with these. These are going to be the plainest. Although they say nice and spicy. Oh, why? What are they, though? Paprika. Oh, I thought you said natural. Oh, these are natural potato chips. Mmm. Mmm. It's like, um... There is a bit of a spice there. It's like sweet and sour. I don't mean like, you know, when I say spice, I mean like oh, yeah, in no. a little spice rack. I don't mean literally hot. It reminds me of like something else, I can't something think. Something we've had from Japan. Yeah, maybe. I really like these. They're really good. I think they're just as good as that. 10 out of 10. No, for me, these are a nine. Oh, don't these taste a little bit like, remember when um, Walkers do Marmite chips? They're a bit like that in no. a way. For me, yeah, they're like a nine, something. they're between those two. These are a 10. So these are paprika, and I really like paprika crisps mm. when you find them. Want to go for one of those? Mm -hmm. Are they spicy? No, not a lot of flavour at all on these. And if you think about it, for proof it's not, not got that much flavour, has it? No, but usually it's got like a almost sweet smokiness usually. Mm. These are more, you know, just natural than those ones are. Mm. Hmm. I definitely think my favourite crisps out of there are the nice ones. I'm going to go give those a seven for the flavour on those. No, right, my favourite are still these ones. Mm -mm. I'm giving them a 9, 10. 11. Ooh, those paprika are nice. Mm -hmm. Like you say, they haven't got loads and loads of flavour, but just enough, a little dusting. I just don't think they have much flavour at all. Mm, so nice. Might as well be called just like, ready I wonder salted. if that's because you've tried, like... Yeah, but you've tried them as well. I'm going to try some nice sticks made from fresh potatoes. Tomato ketchup. We did have a limited edition tomato ketchup bag of crisps, didn't yeah. we? But we don't have them anymore. It's but funny. They're like, oh, they're tiny. Oh my word, so thin. Oh, Does it count if I caught them? Tasty, tasty monkeys. Are they? Hmm. They do have a really good ketchup flavour. You know, like some restaurants, you go and you get really thin mm. chips and then you dip them it's, in. It's like, you know, at the very bottom of your fries, you sometimes get the tiny mm. ones. Like the crunchy bits. Yeah, it's like those. Mm. And you've got a little bit of Tommy K on them. Interesting. And it doesn't, it's not like a really strong Heinz ketchup. It's just like a, a light. But it's there. Mm. Wow. I'm going to give them an eight. I'm giving them an eight as well. Mm. I'll say the same as those. In some ways, I think I prefer the paprika ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. We just tried six crisps really fast. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I like it. Let's get these out. Oh my god. Oh, we got some oh, these more are like funny chips. faces. Tomato ketchup Whoa. must be a big flavour in Why, is that another? Oh, yeah, wow, they're big. That's what I mean. They're like the size of full-size chips. These are like our stick, what are they called? Stick it or something in England. French fries. Chip, chip sticks. Chip, chip sticks. sticks. These are just like our chip sticks. Mm, they're really good. They remind me of something. I'm not sure it's chip sticks because I don't think I've had those. No, they remind me of something else as well. Mm. Can't think what. Almost like a what's it? Mm, a little bit, yeah. Wow. For me, I think they're better than these ones. I think they're a nine. Oh, they are much better than those. Mm. I reckon. Um, I think they might have to be a ten. I, I think I just started too high with those ones. Oh gee. Which is funny because normally you don't start too high, do you? You like to keep it down a little bit. Those first ones are like 
gone down in my book. No, for me, they're still a 10. So I didn't start too hard. I love these things. I really like them, but I still think they're a nine. I still prefer these ones. But compared to these, these have got nothing mm. on those, have oh, they? No. Nothing mm. at all. I, who knew they had so many great crisps? I know. Mickey Snacks. Funny faces. This branding's funny, isn't it? See how they've got a circus person? Yeah. These ones have got a circus person as well. Mickey Snacks. And then this is a different brand. This is Fico. Fico. And these are baked, not fried. Okay, so these are barbecue flavour. I was not expecting that from this bag. No. Like not yellow. from those like smiley faces. And a yellow bag. Oh, okay, no. I th I too thought they were like, what did you say? Pombers. Oh, yeah, you're right. I thought you were meaning something puffy like Monster Munch. They're literally like pombers. They're so mm, thin. That's what I thought they were. And they've got different faces. They're like masks. <laughs> Back a bit. <laughs> it's very, very tiny mild. barbecue. I feel like they don't need to be barbecue. No, I think they'd just be better if they were just like pombers, just mm. potato. Okay, yeah. so. They're kind of the same with pom bears. I would never pick a packet up. But because, when you have them. But when you have them, you can't stop it's eating the bomb, them. Yeah. And they're delicious. Flavour wise, there isn't much there, but I think that's what that I sort of like crisp it. is. Yeah. It's just strange. Natural Fuck. cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Every time should we bleep it? <laughs> so no yeah. one knows what I'm actually saying. Poo poo fuck. It doesn't get much better, does it? Even if you say poo fuck, it sounds a bit. <laughs> I literally just mid saying that was out there. Do you know what? Isn't this a funny shaped bag actually? It's quite tall. Yeah, and really I like blown it when up. they're not. Um... Oh! These are like what's it? Grab oh, they are. Oh! What a poo fuck. <laughs> poo fuck. They literally are like what's it? Mm. They melt in your mouth even more. Mm -hmm. In general, I like crisps like this that are a bit more. Custom. Actually, like potato, but these are amazing. I get that's like we love Cheetos, isn't mm -hmm. it? A bit like that. If you're from England, these pretty much taste like what's it, mm. don't you say? Yeah, they're so good. They're close to Cheetos, but they're not that flavour at no, all. No, because Cheetos have got such strong They're flavor. like the British mm. version of Cheetos, what's it? Oh, these are amazing though. The texture is so, so soft. And funnily enough, I think they're better than all of these apart from these. Really? Mm. So I think they're a 10. I think they're a ten. Mm. Do you mind if I open these while you're just... You go for it. And these. Oh, I've never seen a dotty mm. bag like that before. Or a bag like with you were saying, clown on. the clown, that's so odd. Oh, hold on, these say. I wonder what the explanation is with the clown. Oh, hold on. Poofak, locally known as Bafak, Boo, Safina, Boat, Puffcorn. Yeah. What on earth is that? Look it's like that. a back of an armadillo. An armadillo. This looks like, looks like this is cheese flavour. They look like they're um, little shells taken off the back yeah. of some kind of insect. An armadillo. It's mm. a holiday armadillo. Ooh. Guess what program? Oh wow. Again, it's quite oh, nice. a mild flavour. It's nice. But it's really nice. So much crunchy then I thought. Mm, are these like well. puffed corn or something? Mm. Cheese flavour, yeah. <laughs> these are a 10 out of 10. Not that, not good for me. Mm. They're a nine for me. No, I love these. They're so Moorish. Maybe they're a nine. They're so Moorish. When well, you've got a really big bit of flavour. Mm. Oh my word. For a Moorishness, they're a ten. But I think I still prefer these, so they're a nine. I want one that's got loads of flavour. Mm. These aren't crisp, but they are like a savoury snack like Chris. And they're also like what you get from Japan. Oh. These are called Pop Pop, the, the original Pop Pop. Sweet corn flavour. And I think it's like corn, like a big corn stick. I that. love this packet, I'm going to try and not rip it. I might have to rip it. Rip oh it. wow. That's, oh, oh wow. It is one of those things. And it I smells it like out. sweet corn. <laughs> and you get three in here. <laughs> is it light? It smells so sweet. But think sweet corn. Yeah, I know, but smells, I mean, it does it's so sweet. Yeah. sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it literally tastes like sweet corn. Oh, yeah. Right, it's like putting your teeth through a foam mat. Mm. 
Mm, it literally tastes like sweet corn. Like a sweet corn. Mm. That is, that's interesting. I think I'd have to give that a six. That's the most interesting thing I've found. Like it's so odd. Yeah, really odd. I would, would eat it. You'd expect that from Japan. I would eat it, but I'll do that, odd. but the flavour's not there at, after mm. the initial taste, so I'd give that a six as mm. well. So we've got a few sweets here. I love stuff like this. You yeah. not so much. Yeah, I'm not so Strawberry kind of plat and what strawberry else is sticks. That? And then we've got these, which is halal, halal boobagor. Right then. I think oh, with these hold ones on. we should. This is the toffee, literally means cow candy. Oh. Should we start with that then, maybe? Because yeah. it's are spicy. That's spicy? Uh, you know, like tangy, probably. Is this going to melt, do you reckon, in the mouth? Mm. Though over here in England, we wouldn't call this a caramel, would we? What would we We'd call it? We'd call this more a like fudge. Or fudge. Very creamy mm. and milky. That's very good. I think that's a nine. I give those so nine. Good. That was delicious. Yeah. Next these up, are these more, fruity ones. These are fruit flavored toffee. Mm. Interesting. We don't have what that over here. What flavor do you want? Oh. Lemon. Can I have strawberry, please? <laughs> then here's your strawberry. Thank you. That you wanted before you got a wedgie. <laughs> You're wondering why we just jumped up. I wonder if this is actually toffee, or they call this texture of a sweet mm. toffee. Mm. Oh wow. So soft. That's the softest chewy sweet I've ever had. Mm. Good flavour. I think that is good, but for something like that, I'm probably on a six. Really? Yeah, Why? I'd much prefer the caramels. I reckon that's just as good as the toffee. It's caramels. Really? Nice. That's funny. Okay, so we've got two of these little pots. Well, that's sweet. They were some like little pots of raisins. Mm. <laughs> Can you um, guess a name on them? Tutti yeah. Fruity, these are fruit pastels. I really don't like those. They taste like bubblegum. Mm. I'm swallowing it, but I'm kind of like, should I really be swallowing that? That's really not my kind of thing. I don't really like the texture or the flavour of those. I'm going to say they're a three. If I'll I saw them, if I saw them, I would run away. <laughs> That's how much I don't like those. <laughs> well, not bad. But like, they're so like chewy in the teeth. Yeah, and they're so small. Too small. Mm. And they just Maybe taste like bubble kids, gum. Though. I wonder if they are bubble gum and we've just swallowed bubble gum. Okay, should we go for these next? Yeah. Should I just mm -hmm. crack them open? Because these are just normal strawberry laces. And those ones are fizzy. Thank and you. those are the sour ones. Growing up, I loved things like this. Growing up, I didn't. Good flavour of strawberry though. I would probably prefer something like this, but it's like a bit thicker, got a bit more going mm. to it. Mm. Mm. These are delicious. Candy Castle is the brand, or Neutrina. At least these make your mouth go, mm. what's going on? These are delicious. I think these taste more artificial. Yeah, but at least they make your mouth like, Ooh. Who did the spray thing? There's like a party going on in there. I don't know who started it, salt or the sugar, but it's good. I'd say they're a good eight, both of them. I would say... Eight and a half. I would say... Eight for the others. These are a five, <laughs> and those are a six. But I really am one of those persons who's growing up, I would buy Oh, one of those laces. persons. One of those people. In this box, there's only three things left, but in there, there's quite a few things. Tell this them. is called Co Ichet, I think, Deluxe. This is Kakawabu. Oh, is that a K? Oh, hold on. Quok et Deluxe. Kakawabu. Is that how you. No, that's not That answer. must be the real name for it or something. Wafer chocolate literally means Star's chocolate. Star oh, Deluxe. Star's chocolate. Pull it. Pull it. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to like this. Really? It's wafer. The chocolate. Well, you're into wafer now. Oh, it's really melted. Tastes better than it smells. I don't think it smells of anything. You know what? No. It's so pungent. Really? It's not bad, actually. It's quite a soft wafer, isn't it? Mm, a really soft wafer. The flavour of the chocolate's interesting. The smell of the chocolate's interesting. I didn't like that. The wafer was good, though. But 
I'd say all most of these crests were better than that. Mm. I'd rather have these crests than that. So that's probably the like a, itself was quite a nice. seven. It's like a wafer you get in an ice cream cone. Mm. You don't think that tastes? I'll just give that a six, really. If I was having a cup of tea or coffee, You'd that would go that. really nice. Mm. Or well, like an espresso. Mm. This little thing. This little pyramid. Looks interesting. Oh, wow. There's oh, a party on. going on in there. This is my niece's Zaina and Retal, Retal, Gurgay Anne. It is the Arabian gold version of trick, and tr trick or Treat. It happens halfway point in Ramadan when the moon is full. Kuwait children perform a ritual where they go from house to house carrying a special cloth around their necks, banging and clattering on drums and tin cans and hammering on doors and demanding in a rhyme a treat traditionally given in the form of nuts, ooh, candy and chocolates, to put in their bags. The Gurugayan box I included is meant to be distributed during family and friends gathering, usually happen around that same time. Mm, How cool. cool. Right, should we see Looks what's in fancy. here? So it's like a trick or treat. So is this what you would get from an evening? Oh, Nutella, look. Oh, how funny. Yeah, I think, I guess this is like what you demand and then you get given this. Or were they saying right at the end? Well, I think they've created one. It's meant one. to be distributed. Oh, this is like given out when you're hanging out with family and friends at that same kind of period. Of this things. is a yuppie. I used to get things like this when I was oh, I younger. Oh, what's in here? Oh, wow. These are mega bubble. Cherry flavour. Oh, is this like that crackle stuff? Yeah. Oh, I want to try this cake. Crackle. It's Kinder. Kinder. Oh, Snocko Bonds. I feel like we have that Snocko here. Snocko Bonds. Shall I, I open one is, of these? Yeah. Oh, this is Hello Panda. I've never seen that. What is that? You, you have seen it in Japan, um, that Japan World Shop. Mm. Is it good? Mm, oh, wow, really it's got good. a bit of both of it. That's really good. Mm. 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 Oh, wow. Mm, that's really good. That's a solid 10. Look, here's the Hello Pandas. It's a sweet biscuit with a soft chocolate shell. But soft chocolate centre. Mm, it is a soft chocolate centre, isn't it? It's nice. Almost tastes like our Cadbury's animals. I'm going to try some of this pop. Ooh. I wonder how... Oh, it's pink. Pink. Yeah, it's strawberry. Do you want to take some from there? Wow. Strawberry, but it's more like soap strawberry. That's a cool that little pyramid. It's a really cool little yeah. pop. Especially for kids. I would love getting something like that yeah. when I was younger. Did anyone, quite often in British service stations, you would get like these triangles and it's like um, a surprise what's inside. You've got a boy one and a girl one. I feel like I always wanted one, but my mum would say it's a waste of money. Just pick up a bag of yeah. sweets. Okay, moving on to this beautiful green bag. Grab something. Oh. What's that say? Oh, is this the coffee? Yeah. It's so what oh. it is? Darabil? No, what is it? Nabla. Planet for you? Oh. Plant for you. Dal Nabta. Fast preparation Arabic coffee. So that's coffee. And you yeah. get little um, espresso cups. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Do you want to really get the cool. next thing out and I'll yeah. pop this open? Okay, so we've got these things that seem to be the same sort of thing. This is crumbly cookies. This is crumbly cookies with pistachio. And this is Darabil. Cinnamon flavoured crispy rolls literally means binoculars in Persian. Oh wow, look. Oh my bad. This is what I can smell. Smell that. Oh yeah. Do you eat this Did or just leave it cinnamon? out like potpourri? Potpourri. Should I put the kettle on there? Yeah, that bag's awesome. I won't be drinking any. I see a ship on the horizon. Oh, very light. Mmm. Oh. Not what we call a cookie, but I can see why they do. Oh, it's definitely it's crumbly. It's almost like what you find on baklava. Is that the right mm. word? The flavour is very... um. Floral. Floral and almost like a spice, isn't mm. it? That's actually not that bad. It's, it's quite like mm. cardamony, isn't it? Very cardamony. Oh, hold on. This is cinnamon flavoured. I can taste that. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Oh, wow. These look like falafel Looks balls. Looks like falafel, yeah. Is this the one you've already done? Yeah. I'll have a look at this one. Oh, they're whoa. the same. They're like These balls. are cookies. So this one is with pistachio. And what's this one? And they're just crumbly cookies, apparently. Should we try the plain ones first? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Oh, my word. Crumbly, but not the crumbly we would say. 
It's like powdery. So interesting. I've got a little bit of that. We don't have anything like this type. here. Pistachio. Pistachio. I please. think I prefer the pistachio one. I feel like I'm the hunchback of Notre Dame here. I need to set up. The pistachio mm. one's much nicer, isn't it? But they kind of take the moisture from your mouth and it gets really like thick. Dry and. Mm. And I just love those I like packages. Mm. Definitely going to keep those. Wow. I've got two more things in here. You have absolutely treated us. Yeah. So this is Shabora with saffron. I've also included Shabora rusk. Is that like our rusk biscuits? Okay. With saffron. Saffron's expensive, which is best eaten dunked in a hot beverage, tea or tea with milk. That's amazing that you I've done it way too high because I couldn't see where I was pouring. Oh yeah, but oh I my think word, it's that's okay. so hot. It's so hot, isn't it? But um, yeah, because look, it only looks like it's to there. Yeah. Actually, there's water all the way up here. But I love how it's like on the go. You do it in here and then you open this you little thing. You could probably walk out and, and pour it in your little cups. Oh, wh oh wow, I was not expecting that colour. No, it's not as dark. It's definitely only 30 seconds, isn't it? Is it coffee? I'm sure that's what she said it was coffee. Huh. Arabic coffee. I can smell the coffee, but there's something very herby. Mm. This looks amazing. Mm. Love the little packaging. Oh, dry cake. Is this going to be like a biscotti? Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Is it hard or soft? Yeah, like crunchy. Oh, do you know what I'm going to do? Dunk Well, test. that's what it says. It says, um, which is best eaten dunked in a hot beverage. Yeah, it's literally like a dry cake. Mm. Mm. Is it nice dunked in there? No. No. Because it's hot. It's disgusting. <laughs> the flavour of that. I, pre I appreciate the flavour, but it's so different to what, what we're used to. We oh. almost went in. Almost went in. This is really nice though. Oh, really nice, yeah. Try a bit without dunking. I'm going. <laughs> That's really nice. Yeah, I like that cake. I actually like saffron flavour. Mm. Is that the one that's yeah, saffron? saffron's great, yeah. And rusk. No, I'd say that's more like um a biscot. Oh no, no, yeah. what is it? Biscotti. Biscotti. Okay, and last but not least, this amazing tin. Oh wow. Rahash. Rahash. My all-time favourite rahash. It is a halva oh. made from sesame paste. It's got like cling film in it. Yeah. Ooh. Oh wow. Oh my word, are they that soft? And these soft? little trays. Sesame paste. Oh, I can see that, yeah. If you, um, it looks like um, when mm. you watch Matilda. Much too good for children. It's like her mm. box of chocolates. That's really tasty. Oh wow, it's just like, you bite it down. Mm. That is one of the strangest things I've ever I've tasted. Ever, yeah. I, I generally like sesame and I like tahini and things like that, but it's so like dry and well, chalky. It looks so, I thought that was going to be like wet when I touched it because it mm. like looks damp in here. I thought that was going to be so like yeah. soft or something, like a toffee, but that was the strangest thing I've ever eaten. But I reckon if you've been brought up on these flavours, mm. that must be such a treat. Yeah. It's like with the Polish candy. There were flavours in there that you can totally appreciate. Yeah. But just aren't the flavours that we're used to, are no, they? No, we're just not used to that at all. Because it's a bit like in the Polish. They were like nutty and they're not re that's not really sweet. No. But I can tell like that's really? quite rich. These are these biscuits aren't sweet either. It's no. just the, the sweets yeah. that are sweet. Well it's like the modern stuff that's all sweet and yeah. the more traditional stuff. It must be how like our our palettes our palette. like changed. I think they're just much more used to like herby and mm. spices because that's like cardamom and those are almost... Well these are really natural flavours, mm. do you know what I mean? Things that you just find in the wild. I reckon these are more traditional. Mm. And how great would these be for like presents? They're so awesome. Bringing yeah. that back would be awesome. Yeah, it's like um, really moist. Yeah. That's actually Abra's favourite thing, he really? says. Yeah. <laughs> and just because you're not trying it, Kate, because you're not into coffee, I just thought I'd let you know the flavour of this. Again, it's quite herbal. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, it doesn't really taste like coffee, although I did do the mild setting. But yeah. it does taste, I definitely think it's cardamom. Cardamom. Yeah. I can taste like the pods. I can Not smell necessarily it. to my traditional coffee taste, but actually it's quite nice because it's a Almost. bit like 
gr- you know, like green tea to tea, or you know those kind of like herbal teas. It's a bit like that, but the aqua- the coffee, the coffee, the coffee qua- equivalent. And I love the little package it comes in, I so you lo- can make it on the go. Th- that, I think that's a good gift idea as well. I'm surprised Starbucks or someone don't do Have that. Done, yeah, with their own little things yeah. and having little cups. Mm. That's so cute. Oh my word! What an amazing, interesting bunch of snacks. Yeah, and I thought, oh my word, there's so much stuff there. But actually, we've gone through it so quickly, oh, and we loved. We scoffed those. We crisps. loved so much of it. And the fact that they? we've got so many crisps left is yeah. great, or but dangerous. Great but dangerous. Did you enjoy that? I loved it. Did you? I absolutely loved it. So many amazing, delicious chips, mm. crisps. The thing is, we do a lot of American because that we we're quite interested in American culture, yeah. and also we have a lot of people from our channel who watch, watch it from America. From America, so to be able to get these things from these other countries it's is really awesome. Because that's that's what this is all about, you know, being able to explore the world of different food. And it's not that easy to just fly to Kuwait. No, luckily we had Abra who could send us this awesome package. And it was amazing so and cool, filled with so much. So thank you very much. And to say thank you, we're going to send you one of our British candy boxes. Now you have said you get a lot of Cadbury's in Galaxy. Yeah. So maybe we could get in contact and I see what Cadbury's they've got. Yeah. Um, and maybe we can try send some different things that you haven't tried. If you want to get yourself some British candy, check down in the description box below. You can buy one of our British candy boxes. We've also just included a link to our kit, which usually has on there like all the things we use in the like kitchen. Like our equipment. KitchenAid. And- Amazon Alexa, those kind of thing, and gadgets, yeah. But we actually just made one of our favorite American food, didn't we? Yeah. Because we thought there's no one place that we found that we really love to find American food. Yeah, and also it was because someone commented saying that um, they tried the Prince's Biscuits. Oh, yeah. And they said they found it on Amazon. So I started looking, we started looking and found that you can actually buy a lot of American candy on there. So we put a kit together in case you were wanting to get any American candy. Mm. Maybe we can have a look and see if you can get any of this on Amazon. Yeah. That was a very good video. I hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you very soon. See Bye ya. guys.